Hello, 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 everybody. Um, on here again. Again, I want to thank everybody who tuned in this morning for prayer. Um, right now, I just want to come real quick um, and just say some things here that that's been on my heart. You know, it's it's easy to see what what's going on. It's easy to to look and say, okay, you know, um, like my pastor was preaching um, on um, I think this past Sunday, um, Pastor C.T. Curry. He was preaching, and you know how. It hit us different when it hit the U.S. Now, when it was in China, you know, we wasn't really concerned. When it hit other countries, we wasn't as concerned. And then when the virus hit um, the U.S., we're more concerned. So I encourage you to do this. Instead of waiting and seeing if it's going to hit your family, begin to be proactive. Begin to be proactive. That means begin to pray. Begin to cover. If you don't know how to pray, hey, find somebody who knows how to pray. Can you pray with me? All right, we need to cover my family. We need to cover this. We need to cover that. Don't wait until it happens to start covering things. Cover things beforehand. Don't wait till it hits you because because when it when it gets close to home, when you when it starts affecting your situation, it hits differently than when it's affecting somebody else. It's easy to say, oh, for somebody else to, to someone else, oh, you just trust God. You know, it's gonna be all right. Just trust God, you know, because it's not hitting you. But then when it hits you, it's hit differently. It caused you to go to a level that you didn't think you could go to. It caused you to, to dig deeper than you ever thought you would have to dig. So what I'm saying to you is when when somebody else is going through, you go through, you go deeper just as if you're going through. Don't wait till it hits you directly. When you see it hitting other people, that's when you go on their behalf. You intercede on their behalf. So we, we let's stop being more preact, proactive in, in the things of God. Let's be more proactive in the things of God and not just waiting until, oh, now it's hitting me. Now it's time for me to go deeper. No, go deeper now. Go deeper now. Shield your family. Shield yourself. Shield others. Be proactive. So I just want to encourage you for one on that and just speak to, just, just, do what God is calling you to do in this season. Don't, don't, don't allow people to shut you up. Cause somebody, somebody told me, don't be speaking things that you don't that that hasn't happened yet. But that's what a prophet does. A prophet speaks things that has not come that is coming. <laughs> so you might not want to hear it. You might want to hear it because of selfish reasons. But guess what? I'm going to speak and I'm going to say what the Lord tells me to say, <laughs> regardless of what you think or what you feel. So I encourage you, when the Lord tells you to do something, don't listen to other people. If God has already spoken to you and you know it's God and it's not you thinking that yourself, if you truly know it's God, follow God. If God tells you to speak a word, you speak that word. Don't worry about people's feelings. Like he told Jeremiah, don't worry about their faces because their faces don't look ugly. Their faces might look mean, but guess what? You go forth and you speak what the Lord says to do because in the end, you're held blameless. You're held blameless before the Lord. So that's why I encourage you to do in a day, be held blameless before the Lord and do what he's called you to do. No matter what somebody else says, no matter what somebody else thinks, you go forth in the word of the Lord. You go forth in doing and fulfilling the work of the Lord. This is the season, hallelujah God, that we will work like we've never worked before. As, as 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 believers in, in his kingdom. We will work like we never worked before. And the thing is, he's making it easy if we just follow him instead of trying to do it ourselves. So I encourage you to follow God in this season like you never followed God before. To trust God in this season like you never trusted God before. Have faith in God like you've never had faith in God before. Give it all to him and watch him do the work. So we thank you. I thank you for tuning in for these few minutes just of encouragement, words of encouragement. I love to encourage people and I thank God for putting it upon my heart to do so um, because it's only by his will and his way that I can do it. So I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.